Okay, this is a very important question. Um, so I'm going to take you back now to uh, to January 2015, January 2015. This is when I pivoted or transitioned or moved into uh, body weight training uh, or calisthenics as it's uh, widely known. Pre-January 2015, um, I would say I would I would call my training at the time, I would call it strength training slash body sculpting slash bodybuilding. Um, I, I lifted heavy weights, but my, my focus at that time, my main focus was, was uh, I suppose, being, being big, uh, being muscular. Um, how I looked, I suppose, that was the big thing. And the exercises that I uh, typically performed would be uh, squats, um, uh, deadlifts, uh, bench press, that type of thing. All absolutely amazing exercises, just to be clear. Um, but I, in, in December 2014, when I had time off over Christmas, I remember watching YouTube uh, clips and I got inspired by lots of incredible, uh, at the time, YouTubers uh, like Chris Herrier. Um, um, you, you've got fitness FAQs, Daniel Vadnell. Uh, you've got uh, Calisthenic Movement, which is a channel on YouTube. Certain people that were doing things that I just found very, very um, inspiring to me. Um, and it made me think you can do so many different things with your body naturally just by moving it around and, and, and connecting with it. And I think when I go back to that period in my life, I think I disconnected from why I was training a certain way. I genuinely at that time, I think I was almost, I was questioning why I was doing what I was doing. I did have some injuries. So this, this shoulder here, I, um, I did incur an injury. Um, and I think I just, I was bored. I wanted something fresh. I wasn't sure why I was doing it. I was, I was more focused at the time thinking about what everybody else was doing, what are you doing over there, what are you lifting, why are you lifting that, which is okay, it's fine to ask questions, but I was more focused on them, I wasn't focused on myself, and I think in December 2014, I kind of took an inward look at myself and thought, ask yourself why you're doing what you're doing, are you happy, are you enjoying doing what you're doing right now, and I'd say the answer was no, I wasn't, so lots of YouTube clips, uh, YouTube videos, some amazing channels. And I really start to think, okay, I'm going to change something here. So yeah, January 2015 for me was a huge uh, transformational time. I literally, pre that, I would walk into the training facility and I would step up to say the lap pull down machine, uh, 110 weight, uh, 110 kilogram weight. And I would just start on that. And so the rep range would be, say, you know, around about um, four to six reps, something like that. Um, and I would probably uh, do around about uh, five or six sets. So it, it, it was a lot heavier weight. Um, and I had to go from that to focusing on a pull up. And let me tell you, at that time, I remember going over to um, a pull up bar and guess what? I couldn't do one pull up. Honestly, I'm telling you now, I could not do one pull up. And I put myself into shame. I all of a sudden thought, everyone's looking at me. Everyone's thinking about, what's this guy doing? Uh, why can't I do a pull-up? Uh, normally, he's over on this side of the gym. And he is, you know, lifting heavy stuff or doing whatever. So, I was, yeah, again, I was more conscious about what other people thought. Um, okay, I'm just going to my thoughts. One sec. So, at that time... The transition for me, I knew that, for example, pull-ups as a movement is the challenge. And you need to know, me as a person, I do thrive on that challenge. But the mindset was, realizing that moment, it was me versus me. Because the only person that could perform that pull-up was me. I wasn't all of a sudden looking at anybody else. I wasn't thinking about what they're doing or why they're doing it. I was thinking about, why am I doing this? And I knew that at the time I had to practice that movement. I had to understand and better connect to my body. And I would say it was through a tremendous amount of focus, of practice, def uh, patience, 100% patience, but that level of persistence to continue showing up at the bar, turning up at the training facility, 
um, going through those uh, those physical pain barriers and those mental challenges as well, thinking, why can't I do this pull-up? Um, so I use lots of different apparatus, such as uh, bands, um, and I, I got a lot of my learning through YouTube. I'll be honest, I did. Through people that um, had, had specialised for a period of time in training a certain way. What, why not? Why wouldn't you do that? So that's what I did. And then I applied myself to these techniques. Now, at the time, it was overwhelming because I didn't know what grip to use. Uh, so whether it was a pronated grip, thumbs over, pronated grip, thumbs under, supinated grip, uh, wide grip, narrow grip, uh, neutral grip, so many different types of grips. Um, I, was, I was focused on lots of different elements. Uh, so it could be overwhelming at that time. So I experimented. And this is the advice that I would give to somebody who was thinking about transitioning into pull-ups. Just experiment. Experiment, find, connect to your body. Understand what it feels like, for example, to hang from the bar. Don't necessarily think about pulling yourself up. Just think about what it feels like to hang on the bar, both hands on the bar, and then just do what's known as a, uh, they call them dead hangs, essentially. Um, so I kind of fell in love with the challenge, the complexity. The, uh, I realized at that moment, the, this is the way my brain works, I realized that this is a movement that is infinitely scalable. Infinitely scalable. You know, you could have one hand pronated grip and the other hand supinated grip. Um, and we're not even talking about numbers right now. I'm not even talking about endurance. I'm just talking about the complex, beautiful movement that is the pull-up. And I fell in love with it. And I think at the time, it kind of reminded me of why um, you know, you've got, um, let's just say the military, for example, or special forces, they train this movement. You know, why do they do that? It's such a complex, beautiful, functional form of fitness. Where I'm at right now in my life is I've taken that one pull up, that one pull up and owned it for me, understood what that feels like to connect to me. So I'm going to tell you right now, every time I turn up at that bar, I feel like I'm a student because I've got a lot of knowledge, but it doesn't matter what I have. It doesn't, that knowledge doesn't matter as much as applying that knowledge. So when I turn up at that bar, it is one pull up. I focus on that one pull up. I want to own that one pull up. Now, whether or not I decide to do 100 pull ups, of 500 pull-ups in that session, it doesn't matter because it's not 100 pull-ups or 500 pull-ups. It's 100. It's one pull-up repeated 100 times. It's one pull-up repeated 500 times. Even talk about now. So yeah, I love this movement. I think it's an incredible, incredible complex movement which can be simplified. This is an excellent question. I could obviously talk about this all day. It's probably why I specialize in pull-ups. I love it. Okay, thanks for the question. Keep the questions coming. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and uh, I'll see you soon.